I'm going to demonstrate how to make and interpret scatter plots. I hope you'll follow along by downloading the file available by following the link in the video. Scatter plots are a data visualization tool that show us the relationship between two variables. Examples of two variables that might be related are advertising dollars spent and product sales, or average speed driven and fuel economy. There are three basic linear relationships that it can exist between two variables. A positive relationship, as one variable increases, so does the other. A negative relationship, as one variable increases, the other decreases, or no relationship at all. In addition to the existence of a relationship, a scatter plot will also help us to visualize the strength of the relationship. So let's get started with our first scatter plot. For this example, I generated 20 uh, random numbers for the x variable and 20 red random numbers from, uh, for the y variable. And I labeled that as none. Uh, as you sort of think about this, you can imagine that there shouldn't really be a relationship between two streams of random numbers. So let's see what the scatter plot tells us. I'm going to start by selecting all of the data. All right, and for this example, that means the data in columns A and B. Okay, next I'm going to go to the Insert menu. And I'm going to, in the Charts group, locate and click on XY Scatter. I'm going to select the first chart there, which says Scatter. And uh, this will insert a chart in our spreadsheet. And uh, the chart's already for editing. Okay. So if you notice uh, in the chart, uh, the dots are more or less a amorphous blob or cloud of dots. All right. And each one of these points uh, represents a plotted XY pair. Okay. All right, so this is what a uh, no relationship scatter plot looks like. And since I have uh, generated these, these numbers in a dynamic way, I can generate a new sample, all right, or two or three, all right, to give you uh, more ideas of what no relationship looks like. So what does a positive relationship look like? Let me move this chart out of the way. I'm going to select the data in the A column. And to select the data in the C column, I'm going to hold Control or Command, depending on whether you're in a Mac or Windows. All right, hold the Shift key and then press the down arrow. And this allows us to select non-continuous ranges of cells. All right, and you should also note that in the real world, if you're dealing with data, it may not be neatly organized with the X variable on the left and the Y variable on the right. Um, just keep in mind that the first column of data I select is going to get plotted along the X axis. Okay, so with the data selected, I'm going to go to the Insert tab. All right, in the charts group, I'm going to locate and click on XY Scatter. Select the first option there to put our new scatter plot in. All right, and uh, you can see this tells a, a much different story than the, the first chart we made. All right, the points have a tendency to move from the lower left towards the upper right. Okay, and this is what defines a positive relationship. As X increases, uh, so does Y. Okay. All right. We can see the strength of the relationship by right clicking on one of the points and then selecting Add Trend Line. Okay. And then uh, if necessary, click Linear and then you can go ahead and close the Add Trend Line pane. Okay. So this line it is developed uh, mathematically by minimizing the distance between all of the points. Okay, And you can see that while some of the points are even right on the line, 
Uh, some of them are just very, very close to the line. All right, most of them sort of have a tendency to cluster pretty tightly towards the line. All right, if the relationship were perfect, the points would exactly trace that trend line. All right, so we'd have a straight line of points. All right, here we just have the points clustering fairly tightly. All right, we can characterize this relationship as quite strong. All right, and then finally, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the third scatter plot with the D column. All right, I'm going to hold the control on the shift key and press the down arrow, then hold control or command if I'm in Mac. And then once I've clicked on the first value in the D column, hold shift and press down to select all of the data. All right, and one more time, we're going to go to insert and then in XY scatter, we're going to select the first option. All right, we get our chart, and once again, uh, we can see that, okay, the dots seem to be moving in a specific direction, and this time they're moving from the upper left towards the lower right. All right, and this is what defines a negative relationship. All right, so as X increases, all right, Y is having a tendency to decrease. All right, and by either right-clicking and, and uh, adding a trend line, we can sort of get a, a better visualization of the strength of that relationship. Okay, and uh, once again, we see the dots clustering very closely to this trend line that minimizes the distance between all of them. Okay, so we can characterize the relationship as a strong negative relationship. And with a little reorganization, we can see all of our charts uh, clearly, and they're labeled uh, with the type of relationship you're seeing. So I hope that helps with scatter plots and interpreting the relationships between two variables.